What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Gurkha Man. Welcome back to Space Funeral, the final episode, mind you, of Space Funeral. We are now up in the snowy wastes, and there are some frogs here. Snow frogs, to be specific. And there is a lot of them. And we're gonna take them out. From memory, they only take like one hit each. They're not particularly uh, challenging, but you get decent XP for them, which, you know, why would anyone ever argue about getting tons of XP from frogs? That's just a weird thing to complain about. Oh, 25 experience. Never mind, you get shit all experience from them. Get a lot of small blood, though. We also find a house. A frozen house full of... Oh yeah, I can heal. Sure. What's up, buddy? What do you got to say? Oh, another visitor to the wastelands. What a shame. You can use that thing in the corner if you think it'll help. Probably won't. Well, it already did, Mr. Frankenstein-looking man, so fuck you, you don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Oh. Oh, that was quick. A moon beast. Attacked? Still not entirely sure what moan beast means, but uh, this guy is not much of a threat, so... Doesn't really matter, I suppose, in the end. Got 100 experience for him, though. That's a lot better than 25. Looks like he's been eating... Someone, something. There's not a whole lot of unlockables in uh, this level, to be fair. But there is a very, very cool character. I think they're pretty cool anyway. But I think everything about this game is pretty cool. Pretty interesting. If not cool, then interesting. And I'll take something interesting, you know. That's not boring. That's all I care about. Never a dull experience. Except when you click it through all the small bloods you get right there. Alright, what do we got down here? Uh, not a whole lot. That's not a pathway there, is it? No. It's like they've kind of tried to show you where to go, like with these paths on the ground. I don't know, I just think it could have been handled a little... a little bit better, the mapping. It's like the one thing about this game that I'm not super hot on is the mapping. It's not that it's necessarily bad, but if anything about the game is kind of like uninteresting, I feel like it's the actual level design itself. It's like the one, my one real complaint about this game, because I love the soundtrack, I love the visuals, as weird as that is. Um, love the characters, love the story. Not that you can really tell what the story is yet, but you'll know at the end of the episode what the deal is. And that's, that's important. Now, I believe, if you come up here... No, it's a dead end. And another frog fire, which I wasn't expecting to get in, but whatever, we'll do it. We can take care of business. I know I said earlier I was going to cut out all of the, uh... Cut out all of the boss fights, but... I guess they're so quick and they're so infrequent, really, overall, that it's not that huge of a, uh big deal leaving him in. Alright, well, let's go this way. I'd hate to miss the character that I'm... Oh. Well, it looks like you can't miss him because it's right here. I mean, you could just leave straight away and go out that exit, but we're gonna come in here. Listen to this sweet music. Who's this guy? Good evening! I am Count Dracula! How are things, Dracula? Things are very good, yes, because you gotta use the accent. I don't know why I didn't use the accent, first of all. You gotta use the accent. Would you like some wine? I do not drink wine. Is that your piano, Dracula? Yes, I have many pianos. I like to play them in the evening. This is terrible. I'm terrible at this. Do you know many songs, Dracula? No, I simply make it up. Ah, ha, ha. Or ah, 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 whichever you prefer. I guess you could say, you vamp. Ah, ha, 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 very good, yes. What do you do, Dracula? I am Dracula. What do you do, Dracula? I like to drink the blood. Anything else? Well, do you like to smoke weed? Yes, ha, 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 very good, yes. What do you do, Dracula? I like to drink blood and smoke the weed. That's super. Ha ha ha! I am Dracula. That's the whole conversation right there. Ha ha ha! 
It serves absolutely zero purpose. It's just a thing that's there, and I'm glad it is, because... Why the fuck not? And there's a chest you can't open, which really bugs me. And also a, in a wall you can go into that you can't do anything with. Can I play the piano at least? Nope. Can't read his books. Good one, Drac. You jerk. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this snowy wasteland. I'm tired of this place. I'm gonna flip-flop my way to freedom. I am outcast of bones. I hunt sea dwarves along the coast. <laughs> I completely forgot that he said I hunt sea dwarves. Sea dwarves. Jesus. The city of forms. I know it. It's a place of great evil. I can take you there. Yeah, please. Are you sure? There's no going back. Yeah, it's fine, man. Let us proceed. They proceeded. It's like I wrote this. What the f Fuck, and here we are. Welcome to the City of Form. Shit's a little bit fucked looking. Some houses I can't go into, some well glitched out trees. Yeah, one hell of a fucked up map. This is not a good place, Philip. Ah, no shit. Alright, let's heal ourselves up. Take a rest, yes please. Yeah, this place is, uh... Well, they wanted to make something that looked really glitchy, and they, uh... Succeeded. I just want to make sure there was no doors here, because I, I'd hate to miss a door here. Oh look, it's Mum. Sup, Mum? Come on in. The water's fine. Just do your best. Just do your worst. Thanks, Dads. All right, what's in here? Can I click on any of these? I don't think I can. No. They're all just kind of there. It's just basically all the different character sprites, which is kind of. Kind of neat. I quite like it. Anyway. Greetings, my friends. Welcome to the City of Forms. Now, Formless. What? Who are you? Can you be? Yes, I am Moon. It is I who have corrupted the city. Many years ago, time passes so queerly. Here, I was an artist. I saw perfection in all things. So seeking to be inspired, I traveled to the city, a place of pure form. It was perfect. It destroyed me. Nothing could be created which was not a pathetic mockery of the objects of the city. The finest works paled in comparison. In the face of such beauty, I felt corrupted. An animal. Our world meant nothing. We were all graceless creatures of slime. I was practically comatose for months when I realized what I had to do. So you turn the city and world into a grotesque mockery of itself? Don't you see? The perfection of the city left us impotent. We have to destroy that we can build again. It's still not enough, you know. Even now I can feel echoes of that perfect world and the chance permutations of our broken copy. Perhaps another great change. Yeah, and more until it becomes self-perpetuating. A ceaseless chaos of forms. People I already have. Perhaps we've... Oh, perhaps I already have. Perhaps we've had this conversation many times, you and I, with places exchanged. Perhaps, but it stops here. <laughs> Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, motherfucker. Now, there's a twist coming up. But first we're gonna kick this guy's ass. Turns out at this point, just my regular attacks do more damage than anything, so... We're just gonna stick with these and kill the moon. Take that! Oh, brain freeze, don't do that. Oh, now his brain's frozen. Oh, jeez. He spooked, he spooked him. Now I have to use some skills to... I have one that, uh... Oh. I didn't say this before. Heavy punch. Alright, I'm going to... Maybe it's this guy. Yes! Cleanse! Oh, now he's distracted, great. Uh, skills, Savage Blow, let's try that again. 112, eh, it's not as much as a regular attack. Hmm. I think regular attacks will still do it. Yeah, they did. They did it. 600 experience, 600 rubles, Philp level 20, Leg Horse level 16. And he's dead. We did it, but the city hasn't changed. <laughs> it will. It's collapsing as we speak, sliding back into the entropy of perfection. 
Quickly, Philip, let's get out of here. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> Enjoy your perfect world. Hey! Check this shit out. Everything's back to normal. It's the original uh, RPG Maker 2003 tile set. Oh, except for that one house. With this music. It's, mwah, bliss. Space Funeral by The Catamites. The Catamites was the name of the developer. So, there you go. Made an RPG Maker 2003. So, uh... There's a lot of theories about what this game is about. Uh, personally, I don't know. I don't really care. I think, depending, because I don't know how involved this person was in the RPG Maker community, but there's a lot of people who shit on people who make original sprites for their RPG Maker games, and there's a lot of people who shit on people who use the RTP or the built-in sprites for their games. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this game, the ugly aesthetic was on purpose, and it's really about that stupid fight between the community, honestly, at the time. It's just still going on now, you know, which is like six years later. But, um, thanks for playing. I couldn't tell you for sure. But, I mean, that's what I take away from it. But, uh, you might have your own theories. I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Either way, thank you for joining me on this journey through Space Funeral. I hope you enjoyed the game. Like I said, this is my second time playing through it. And, uh, now that I can actually read the font, I enjoyed it even more the second time around. Uh, I think that's definitely... Those are the sorts of games that I'd personally like to make as well. Games that are similar to this, not in terms of tone, but about the same sort of length and just fun little strange things. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And I'll hope you join me next time for whatever game it is I play next. Uh, undoubtedly another RPG Maker game, so I hope you join me for that and I'll see you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, have a good one.